<laughs> Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to the correct views. The show is going to the dogs today. Literally. You know, friends, what bothers me the most here is that in all societies, as they have come crashing down, they have done so usually when they've lost morality to the point where it's not only that they mistreat each other, but that they mistreat animals. You look in the Bible, the animals were to be given rest. You were supposed to honor your beast. You were not supposed to abuse your animals. Most civilized religions... Not radical Islam, but I meant civilized religions treat their animals very well. Then you've got instances like when I covered the cat, the kittens that were left in the car, 120 degrees. They were left in a tote with a laundry basket on top of them while the, the criminals who did it went to Burger King. Those kinds of things, unfortunately, have always been with us. But do you know what hasn't always been with us? The idea that this is endorsed by the governments where we live in civilized societies. Listen to this. It's not enough that Australia has begun to treat their people terribly, like animals. But now they've begun to mistreat their animals. Listen to this. All of this over a virus that you have a 0.26% chance of dying of. Washington Post. Australian town kills shelter dogs over coronavirus concerns. Friends, if this doesn't make you sick, then what, what's wrong with you? I mean, if this doesn't get you to your core, what is wrong with you? Listen. You have ears? Listen. A local government in rural Australia fatally shot dogs that were set to go to an animal shelter in another town over concerns that the shelter's employees could spread the coronavirus by traveling to pick up the animals. Who cares? You're not going to die of the damn thing. Unlike these animals who got their brains blown out, this doesn't bother anyone. The Berkshire Council, a local government in the remote northwestern part of the state of New South Wales, killed the dogs to, quote, protect its employees and community, including vulnerable aboriginal, po aboriginal populations. Oh, yeah, every time they're going to do something awful. It's, it's very quiet. You don't know what it's like to be a minority. Maybe you don't know what it's like to be shot in the head like a dog. I'm not saying you should, but I'm saying that things need to be put into perspective. There were concerns about the risk of COVID-19 transmission if personal, if personnel, excuse me, from an animal rehoming organization in Cobar, about 25 miles south of Berkshire, had to travel to pick up the dogs, the office said. The office also said examining the circumstances surrounding the incident, including whether the killings may have violated animal and prevention of cruelty laws. You think? The Berkshire Council did not respond to a request for comment. Camp dogs are often rehomed from Australia's remote in indigenous communities to more populous ones. But with the resurgence of the coronavirus in Australia, interactions between rural and urban communities come with heightened fears about potentially spreading the virus. So what? We're not going to bring any, they're not going to bring any food in? Because the food is made in the rural areas, you twit! 
You're not going to bring any food in because if you're coming around a car dig with the food, you might get the coronavirus. Why are you going to starve to death then? That doesn't make any damn sense. The food comes from the rural areas. Those fears are especially clear in indigenous communities whose populations have higher levels of chronic health issues where medical resources are more sparse than in urban areas. Yeah, of course. Shot the dog. What do you guys think? I mean, when I heard about this, I didn't even think it was honest. I, I literally thought it was, uh, I had to verify it before I would believe that it was true. Guys, in the comments line, let, in the comment lines, let me know what you think. On Opera News, let me know. This is, let me know. I'm speechless.